Welcome to Letter Teacher. In this video, I will explain an align widget along with its all properties. And at the end, I will share how complex UI problems like this can be solved simply by using the align widget. So without wasting time, let's get started. As the name suggests, align widget allows the child widget to align inside the parent widget. Proper alignment of widget has great impact on UI designs. Align widget is commonly used inside the stack. However, we are free to use it inside any widget that we want. There are four properties in align widget, out of which two properties, the alignment and child are used most commonly. Look at this example that contains a container with the height and width of 300 pixels and having the color called blue with the opacity of 0.5 pixel. Now inside this container, let me place a child as the aligned widget having the container of 100 width and 100 height with the color blue. You can observe here, this aligned widget has placed the small container that is the container with blue color inside the outer container inside the center. So why it is aligned inside the center? Because inside this alignment, we have got property called alignment and the default value for alignment is inside the center. So value for this alignment property can be passed in a variety of ways. In this specific video, I will talk about three different ways uh, in which we can pass the value for this alignment. Let's start from the most simple way and that is by using the alignment object constants. So this alignment class has got total nine different constants to represent nine different locations or say positions uh, that allows us to position our child inside the parent widget. So let's understand using some image how these nine positions are located. On the top side, we have top left, top center, top right. In the center, we have center left, center, center right. And on the bottom side, we have bottom left, bottom center and bottom right. Now when I use alignment dot top left, so it is going to place this particular small container at the top left corner of the outer container. And when I use say top, say top right, so it is going to place that box inside the top right of the parent widget. In the same way, we can use some bottom values here. Let's say if I use say bottom right, so it's going to place that one inside the bottom right corner of the parent widget. For having more control on the alignment of child, Instead of using these constants, we can simply use the object of alignment and that simply requires the value of x and y coordinate where alignment has to be done. So before I run this program or before I explain here, let's understand the anatomy of alignment object. Basically, alignment uses the coordinate system with an origin in the center of rectangle. We can see here, the origin is present at the center of this rectangle representing the x and y value as a zero. So as we go on the left side, the value of x axis goes on decreasing and on the right side, the x value goes on increasing. On the top, the value of y goes on decreasing and as we come down, the value of y goes on increasing. So make sure when we pass values for this alignment using an object, so values for this x and y must be in the range of minus one to one. Actually, the nine constants of this alignment object are made by using these specific values. You can see this particular table here that represents how these nine constants are made by using this range of values. When we think about the value of x is 0.5 and y is also 0.5. So this particular point will be located at this particular place where my this green circle is available. And when we think about the value say minus 0.5 and the y value is again minus 0.5. So that particular value or that particular point will be present at this particular location. So let's understand how we can get that one in DBS code. So let me use the value of x as 0.5 and y also 0.5. When I save here, you can see here this particular box is moved at the position called 0.5 to 0.5. And let me use minus sign here and I change it to minus sign. You can observe here this particular box is moved at this particular position that represents uh, the x and y alignment at minus 0.5 position. So in this way, we can have more control over the alignment using the custom x and y position. Now let's talk about one more way of passing the value for alignment and that is by using the object of fractional offsets. So let's use your fractional offset. So in this case also we have to pass the value for x and y coordinate. But again before I run that one, let's understand the anatomy of this fractional offset and how it differs from the alignment object. Fractional offset uses the coordinate system with an origin in the top left corner of rectangle. You can see here 
the origin point that is 0 comma 0 is present at the top left corner of rectangle whereas the center is presented by the point called 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 for the x and y values so the values for this fractional offset must be passed in the range of 0 to 1 you can see here when i use fractional offset 0 comma 0 the small container that is the child widget is now placed at the top left corner of parent widget and when I change the value say 0 0.5 to say 0 0.5 for the y also so you can observe now it is placed inside the center of parent widget and if I change say 0 0.6 say to 0 0.7 so it will slightly move in the bottom and the right side let's understand the properties called width factor and height factor that allows us to control the size of parent with respect to the size of child widget to understand that one properly Intentionally, I have removed the width and height of this container and I have placed this one inside this center widget. So, let me use property called width factor here. So, let's use the value of width factor as 1. So, basically, when the value of width factor is 1, it means the width of parent is exactly the same as the width of child. When I use value of width factor as 0 0.5, it means the width of parent is half than the width of child. And when I change it to 2, it means the width of parent is double than the width of child. Let me use alignment here and let me pass the value of alignment say as alignment dot top left. And when I save here, you can observe now due to width factor, the width of parent is twice than the width of child. And due to alignment, your particular child is aligned at the top left side of the parent widget. And let's say if I use say top center, so you can see here your child is aligned in the top center and when you say top right so it's going to align in the top right side of parent widget and same thing you can observe with the height factor so let me use your height factor instead of the width factor so let's change it to height factor and you can see here the height of this parent widget is double than the height required by the child widget and as i'm using top right your child is aligned at the top right let's say if i say change it to say bottom left so it's going to align in the bottom left side with the height double than the child side and let's say if i use the height factor one so your parent will have exactly same height as the child height now let me explain very interesting part of this video and that is how we can create this complex kind of ui simply by using the aligned widget let me explain my code here we simply have a scaffold containing container as a body inside this container we have a list view dot builder which is going to build five items for me. I have changed the direction of this list view as the horizontal. Inside this item builder, I'm simply returning a container with the width and height of 60 pixel. I have simply used a margin of 8 pixel in the horizontal axis. For the decoration, I'm using a box decoration. And to have this circular shape, I use box shape dot circle. To have the white border on this uh, particular image, I use border dot all and with the width of Two pixel and the color white to have the image inside this container i simply have image property here and i'm passing here the decoration image you can observe here the values of these images that is the names of these images i'm generating dynamically basically all my images are stored inside this image assets inside this images folder and the name of these images are phase 0 phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 and phase 4 so that i can generate the names of these images dynamically with the help of my index values so this is what the UI of this particular code. Now how I can turn this particular UI into overlapping images. For this simply I have to wrap this content inside this uh, align widget. So let's write here align. And inside this align widget let me use property called width factor. And let's pass the value of this width factor as 0.4. You can see when I save the code my UI is turned into this beautiful kind of UI. And all this credit goes to the alignment and the width factor here. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.